Hello and welcome to the first of many, many tomato videos. In this video, we're making some salsa. It's called Salsa Rancha. Or ran I don't know if I'm, that's how I'm going to say it, Rancha. It's out of the, what book is this called? The all new ball book of canning and preserving. Oops, and I hit my microphone. All right, so I'm making this a little bit different. My oven does not work the greatest. It works, don't get me wrong. But when I want to do, when I want roasted things, it doesn't really work all that great. So I just, I skipped that entire part. So you need three pounds of plum tomatoes, three fourths of a pound jalapenos, four garlic cloves, and a, and a, and a mushroom. And onions um there's no garlic and no mushrooms in this one, and no garlic and no onions in this one i'm going to keep saying mushrooms guys in this one why because i can't eat it add it if you want but anyway you're supposed to take those four ingredients and put them in a roasting pan in the oven at 425 degrees for roughly 20 minutes until they are roasted or they begin to get soft and char i skipped that part completely I'm just chopping them up, as you can see, just nicely cutting them up. And I'm using a cake. That's actually a cake lifter, I think it is, to scoop them up and put them in the pot. Now, I've washed everything. Everything's clean. Um, so, yes. So, what we're going to do is we're going to chop all this up. I've already chopped up the peppers that I'm using. And the cilantro, I didn't have lime, so I used lemon juice because I had lemons and salt. That's really all this recipe is, although there's not supposed to be any peppers in it. I put peppers in it because I didn't put the onions in it, you know, so I used peppers instead. It worked out great. And this is just like a super easy recipe. You're just supposed to roast them until they're the way you like it and then you would add them to the pot and continue on the way I'm doing now. So I've got the jalapenos in there. I'm going to add some green onions just to give that onion flavor. This, you know, again, just so I can have the onion flavor. And then I'm going to put this on the pot, on the stove to come to a boil. And then cook it down until it's the consistency that I want it at. I like most of my salsas a little soupier. I'm a little weird. I know. It's okay. We're all different. Cook it down to the desired consistency that you want. Like, just look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? That is beautiful. What a color. What colors? Mm. Okay, but anyway. Cook it down to whatever you want. If you don't want liquid in there, you know. You don't have to have the liquid in there. I really like the liquid because I use it for different things. Okay, so at this point, we've been co I cooked it, I think, for like 20 minutes at that point. And it's, I go and I taste it. Oh, what did I add in there? Oh, yeah, the lemon juice. Sorry. The, I'm thinking, I don't remember any lemon. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I forgot what I was saying, but it's all right. So I cooked this for about 20 minutes to get to this consistency. There is half a cup of cilantro added in. Yeah, cilantro half cup. I had to check the recipe just to make sure. Adding that in. You add that in about the time you're just about done. And then you add the salt in. Uh, two teaspoons of salt. And then that's it. Like It's a very nice easy salsa but again you're supposed to char everything and roast it and yaddy yaddy and i think that was probably what makes it more of a like a rancher 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 what's it called rancheria um salsa is by giving it that charred feeling now if i really want to i could have went out and put them on the fire or barbecue or something and charred everything up. Oh, that would have been good. Hmm. Maybe I'll remember that next time. Anyway, so I have that right to consistency I want. We're going to show you two jars, three jars. We fill it up. 
And you're going to get to see that beautiful salsa. Maybe. Hang on. What was I doing? I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. Oh, going to bring... <laughs> Fiddling with the camera. That's what I was doing. That's a better view anyway. It's like, seriously, just look at that. That is gorgeous. And I missed that little blooper in the editing. I didn't even catch that. I, I See, I catch my editing when I'm doing the voiceover. That's when I really catch everything. <laughs> but we're just going to ladle this in. Leaving half an inch headspace so that way there's enough room for everything to bounce around. You know, have its fun. But we're getting lots of juice in there. I keep everything in the water bath canner so it's nice and hot, sterile and clean. Now I know the book is now saying that you don't need to sterilize if it's canning for more than five minutes. Here's my question for that. How is it sterilizing when you have an item, like in this case it would be salsa. So you're going to sterilize a jar with the salsa in it? Eh? Really? Pass. Uh, <laughs> that's just my thought on that. Anyway, so we're debubbling. We're wiping the rim. Wiping the rim, getting it good and clean. My focus is all over the place on this one. Wow, I don't know why. Okay, so we're getting the lid on there. And then we're going to put a ring on it. And then it's going to go into the water bath canner. For 20 minutes. Okay, so there's the ring. It's hot. Of course, it's hot. My fingers haven't quite caught up to canning season yet. They still hurt. <laughs> and I'm just like, nope, no more. Get the glove. The glove's coming out. All right, so into the canner, those go. Now we're going to pull them out. You're going to get to see all of them. I think I got nine of them in total. They're gorgeous. They're lovely. See, look at that. Oh, isn't that? That's that just gorgeous. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. And there's lots of liquid in that one. Ooh. See that? That pot there, it's another salsa. That's another video. That might be the video you see next. I'm going to try and do these in somewhat order. No guarantee, though. So there we go. Oh, here we go. Here comes another one. Another one. Now, I'm trying to pull them out straight, but let me tell you, it just doesn't always work. So we got there. Six. Seven. Eight. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my st st stumbling on words. And I will talk to you again very soon.